guys welcome to my channel and today we're going to do a quick prediction before the real Springbok side has been announced today so uh, without further ado let's go and have a look at how I think our Springbok side will look like uh, when it's been announced today so I don't think there's going to be any surprises really I'm going to go with Cheslin Colby at fullback with the only real surprise here um, I think he's an exceptional player and uh, Vili LaRue has been really good off the bench and uh, they might even start with Vili, but I think Cheslin Colby can bring that X factor, you know, from the fullback position. He can slot in at fly off, move to the fullback between the two positions throughout this game. So it's going to be really good to see how Cheslin Colby and Damien Willems are fared together in, uh, in, ten, uh, in 10 and 15. So uh, expecting that to be the call today with Cheslin Colby at 15. Then Kirtley Arons on the right wing with uh, Makazola Mapimpi on the left wing. No surprises there. Kirtley Arons has played really well since coming into the Springbok setup. Um, Jesse Creel and Damien Dielendi in the midfield combination. I would have loved to have seen Enko van Wijk make his debut against Ireland, but it might just be a little bit too much ask from the youngster at this stage. So uh, Jesse Creel with the experience comes in with Damien Dielendi at uh, 12. Then uh, Damien Willemsen, Faf de Klerk at 9 and 10. Um, I've gone with Faf de Klerk just because of the experience over Jaden Hendricks at this stage. But we could even see Jaden Hendricks start at 9 as well. Then uh, forwards, Jasper Risse, Peter Stef de Tue, and Sia Kulisi in the loose forwards. I don't think there's going to be any surprises there. I don't think they're going to pick Jevan Roos ahead of Jasper Risse. So uh, expecting that uh, to be our loose trio for that game. Then Luit de Jager and Jürgen Edsebet in the lock combination. Uh, a very formidable lock combination and one that could challenge Ireland to the fullest. Then uh, Franz Malherbe, Malcolm Marks and Steven Kitzoff to start in the front row. I think we should pick our strongest starting front row. Lay the uh, platform early on and uh, work from there in the second half. Then on the bench I've got Bongi Bunambi, Oxnashi and Vincent Koch as replacement front rowers. We could have gone with Trevin Yakani as well, but and Thomas the Tway, but uh, I just feel that these guys have been in the setup this year, so uh, going with them. Then Franco Mostert and Quaja Smith, the only two other front uh, forward replacements. If they do opt to go for a 6 2 split, then I would say that they might include Jevan Roos or uh, even bring in another player like uh, Jason Jenkins, maybe with Franco Mostert being an extra loose forward option. But uh, I've gone with a 5-3 with a split. So uh, looking at the uh, backline replacements, Jaden Hendrickson and Andre Estrezen and Vili LaRue. Um, like I said, you could have gone either way with Jaden Hendrickson or uh, Faf de Klerk to start this game. And then uh, Andre Estrezen, the only real other known uh, center in the side. So uh, yeah, the obvious choice then in Vili Leroux to uh, come off the bench. You can play fullback, uh, wing and uh, fly off if needed to. So there's my lineup prediction, guys. We will be doing the official uh, Springbok lineup a little bit later on. But this is uh, it from, from me from now. So until then, guys, uh, have a good day and uh, cheers for now.